Hi, this is Mete Bultai from CodingMac.com. Um, in this video, I'm going to show you how uh, you can create your public website at Office 365 and assign it a custom domain name that you own. So uh, let's have a look at Office 365 uh, site collection types. Uh, the first type is private site collections. You can have many uh, private site collections at Office 365 tenant and uh, it's a restriction to have HTTPS uh, protocol uh, in all of the site collections and uh, in those site collections uh, you can just assign Office 365 URLs uh, like the URLs uh, which contain SharePoint.com and uh, you can have one public site uh, in your tenant and uh, it's by, by default it's a HTTP protocol and uh, you, you can assign uh, Office 365 URLs as well as uh, your custom domain URL uh, actually you have just one Office 365 URL and then Additionally, you can assign a custom domain uh, of your own. So uh, let's demonstrate this one. Okay, now this is my tenant administration in Office 365. Um, as you see, the, this is the uh, this is my account name, which is Cotolio. Uh, I assigned this one when I first created my uh, tenant account. And uh, these are auto-generated, uh, some of them. And uh, I can change this one. Whenever I create a, a private site collection, it should start with this code only. I can't change this one. It's a restriction of Office 365. And uh, also there's uh, one other restriction. Uh, you can't assign uh, custom domains to your private site collections you can uh, assign it uh, just for your public uh, site collections uh, here you see I can create just uh, private site collections because uh, I already have a public website so when I try to create one private site collection Uh, yeah, you see there are not many options. I can just create a site under uh, uh, Managed path here uh, under codolia.sharepoint.com and Yeah, it, it's not uh, writing here, but uh, yeah, yeah, it's right here HTTPS so uh, this is a restriction of private site collections in Office 365. Okay, let's close this one. And now I'll show you how to add a, a custom domain. So we will click this one, add domain. As you, you see, uh, they are grouped under public website group uh, in here. Okay. Add domain, we are waiting. So I should re-log in. Okay. So the, the these are the domains that I... Okay, let's remove. Yeah. That I tried before starting this demonstration. Remove, yes. okay sorry for that uh, so uh, th this is the domain that I'm going to use uh, actually I have already assigned it uh, but um, I will show you uh, with another domain I will start with another domain the first thing that I have to do is uh, that uh, I need to approve that I really own the, the own that domain so I will say add a domain 
and here I should specify a domain so let's try codicmac.com and as the domain name uh, the DNS is hosted in godaddy.com it will automatically recognize it and it says confirm ownership and uh, when I press this button uh, godaddy login uh, dialog will appear and then I'm done so uh, let's try a domain which is not hosted on godaddy okay back let's go back okay so it says setup in progress this is what happened uh, when I started it so uh, let's try my company's domain believe me I don't own this domain I will just show you what happens next and yeah uh, when it it can't recognize the DNS provider it uh, provides us a list of uh, known providers or you can just uh, select DNS uh, you, you do, uh, just don't, don't select one and you can uh, do some manual steps or you can select from this list so I'm not uh, going further because I don't uh, own this domain let's go back to the domains list uh, it takes a while because I'm connecting our 3G come on come on okay it was that net okay yeah okay it says setup in progress so uh, now I will show you uh, what happens if I uh, try to assign a subdomain of my existing domain uh, because I, I don't want uh, to use all of my subdomains with Office 365 I already host a website on this one www.ankarasp.com so I will add a subdomain the procedure is the same I will just click add a, add a domain first step and this is the yeah this is domain that I will use sp.ankarasp.com uh, I will uh, I want this subdomain to point uh, my Office 365 public site. Click Next. Yeah, okay, they confirmed because I, I already added it. Finish. Yeah. Now the cool thing is uh, I can add uh, users uh, with this domain name let's see start step two so I can add uh, users as bulk with, with a CSV file or, or I can uh, add them one at a time I'll just show you uh, what this feature is I, okay I will just add my colleague Karam yeah, not okay I don't want him to get mad at me uh, yeah so uh, th there's if if I add domains uh, to my account I can add users for each domain so it's a very cool feature uh, you don't need to add your uh, users at uh, this your your tenant name that on micro microsoft.com instead you can add your users with your own domain names I can use whether uh, my uh, root domain or the subdomain that uh, I'm uh, now adding I'll just click cancel okay uh, I'm sorry I don't want to next So the third step is uh, configuring your DNS to point uh, to Office 365 
and let's start it there are two ways to do it uh, one is the automatic way uh, you can uh, you can let office 365 automatically configure your dns uh, if it's integrated with your dns provider or you can just uh, do the steps manually and th there are three options here uh, as I have exchange online and link online associated with my tenancy uh, I can uh, add uh, related D DNS records with them or if, if I want to just uh, host my website with this domain I will just uh, select this one and it says you can use it with SharePoint Online, custom domain, uh, mailboxes, etc. Okay, I'm sk uh, skipping that. Yeah, next. Waiting, waiting, yeah. Okay. Uh, now it tells me how how uh, will I change the uh, look of my website. I will just click next, next, next. Yeah, change. Okay, next. Now, uh, it says it can automatically uh, arrange the records, my DNS records, or uh, I can manually uh, manage them. Uh, in this step, I, I'm choosing to man manually arrange them because I don't want it to overwrite my www or other DNS settings because I already host a site on uh, my www domain. So uh, I will just uh, set my DNS manually and uh, no, I'm not selecting this one. Oh, uh, yeah, now it, okay, th this is the DNS setting that uh, I have to apply. Actually, I already applied it, so uh, I'm just skipping this step. Um, if if you would like to know how you can apply these uh, steps in your DNS provider, it, it uh, Office 365 has a help section which displays uh, how you can uh, set them for your DNS provider. Uh, as uh, it's GoDaddy, it, it uh, displays me a how to uh, manual for GoDaddy. So. I say go down check okay it says okay it's all done it's very good well done so uh, I'm finishing this one and I'm going to my tenant admin okay SharePoint admin and uh, this is the final uh, step that you need to apply I select my public website and I click rename website and after that uh, you will see your custom domain added to here I select it I click OK and now uh, it will take a while a uh, few minutes and uh, after then uh, the o official uh, uh, official recommendation uh, is uh, waiting for 15 minutes and checking uh, whether your domain works so uh, now I'm ending uh, I hope everything works uh, in your in your environment and uh, I'm sorry one more thing to mention here uh, when, when I uh, created this uh, with a English language site it worked fine I, it was okay uh, and in my scenario I just deleted this one and recreated this site in Turkish language and uh, repeated the same steps but it, it didn't work it, it seems uh, there's a there's an issue with 
uh, I don't know uh, the different uh, language packs or locals. It's very weird, but it didn't for work for me. Maybe I did something wrong. Maybe it can work for you. Okay, uh, it's finished. When I was uh, longly talking, it's finished. And I guess we can try it now. Actually, we, yeah, yeah, you see it's working. Okay. Uh, I, I didn't plan to uh, f finish like that, but uh, it became too fast and uh, now it's working. And uh, here you see the uh, custom domain URL here. And there's one more thing to mention, I think. Uh, it is uh, that this page is uh, anonymous, okay? But the lists inside uh, this site are not. Uh, there's a limitation in uh, Office 365, but uh, you can modify those lists to be uh, anony anonymously uh, accessed uh, with, by installing some apps. There are some apps uh, on the store. Uh, you can just uh, install them and you can then uh, use your lists uh, with anonymous access. Uh, I will provide you some links uh, in the video page and in uh, related code, uh, coding mac.com page. So, uh, okay, here uh, we are done. Oops, page is coming, yeah. Thank you very much uh, for watching this video and please visit codingmac.com for uh, related videos, uh, related links, resources and uh, next uh, and upcoming videos. Thank you very much, bye bye.